The story's told of a mother going before Napoleon, the great 19th century French general and ruler, and pleading for the life of her son, a soldier, who had been court-martialed and sentenced to death for deserting the army in the face of battle. And she asked for mercy. Napoleon answered her and said, What has he done to earn my mercy? The mother replied, If he could earn it, he wouldn't need mercy. Let me read a couple of definitions for you. Merriam-Webster defines grace as unmerited divine assistance given to humans for their regeneration or sanctification. A virtue coming from God. A state of sanctification enjoyed through divine assistance. And the Cambridge University Dictionary describes mercy as compassion shown especially to an offender or to one subject to one's power. Lenient or compassionate treatment. Paul writes this, However, I consider my life worth nothing to me. This is in Acts 20, 24. My only aim is to finish the race and complete the task the Lord Jesus has given me. The task of testifying to the good news of God's grace. Good news. Good news. The good news is that God is in the grace and mercy business. That he is in the business of, as the definition tells us, of showing compassion to one subject, to one's power, or an offender, lenient or compassionate treatment, unmerited divine assistance given to us for our regeneration and sanctification. He is in the grace and mercy business. What that means is, at the very basic level, you and I don't get what we deserve. You and I mess up all the time. And our mess ups are incredible limiters to our life. And yet, God in heaven looks down on us and he extends the free gift of grace and mercy to us. Lenience and compassion. Forgiveness. So that our mess ups don't have to define who we are. Don't have to limit us. We can experience grace. We can experience mercy. And live limitless lives. That's a really good deal. Have a great day.